Hello everyone, this is Bryant with sfftsource.com, your premier guide to Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. It is Saturday, August 10th, which means it is time for FT92, the fan event that the park puts on every year. So this year, we are expecting to hear about Fright Fest, some of the changes we can anticipate with the Cedar Fair merger, Six Flags Cedar Fair merging, and uh, what to expect going on into 2025. So we know for sure that they'll do Fright Fest announcements. Everything else is kind of a bit of a surprise. So buckle up, we're gonna head in to the Zaragoza Theater and check out the FT92 presentation. We made our way into the park and you've got the fun statue right here. You've got the Heroes gift shop and then to the left of that, you've got the Zaragoza Theater where FT92 is taking place. I'm going to be your host today. We're going to introduce the spooky, the spine chilling, the spectacular. <laughs> that was weak. <laughs> now, we're going to have some fun today, but we're 30 minutes away. Tonight's presentation is brought to you by Terror Vision. Very good. I like that. <laughs> Halloween fans out there? More specifically, any Fright Fest fans out there? Well, as you know, we've got a great show lined up for you today. For those I have not met, as the ghost host voice in the back said, I'm Jeffrey Siebert, park president for all things Sixtastic and Six Flags Fiesta Texas. More importantly, I'm the caretaker of Fiesta Texas to make it a great place to work and play and do things unimaginable and continue to make sure that we're upping our game and creating great world-class experiences like never before. And no doubt with this special FT92 Fright Fest edition, hopefully you'll see all the great additions and improvements as we are getting ready to share with you the biggest Fright Fest ever! You guys ready for that? As you know, FT92 has taken a variety of twists and turns over the years where we launched all kinds of new and exciting attractions and features. This event is a little bit different, where it really does focus on our most signature, exciting, and thrilling time of the year, Fright Fest. Fright Fest continues to grow in popularity and notoriety, and no doubt the additions over the years continue to pay off, and boy, do we have exciting news for you today as we really showcase all the exciting features of Fright Fest, but also we'll give you a glimpse behind the curtain of other things that we are working on to share with you to make this year exciting and as we continue our planning for our 2025 season. But before we begin, I would like to officially welcome you to the new Six Flags. What do you guys think? <laughs> it's hard to believe that just a month ago, Six Flags and Cedar Fair merged into the juggernaut that we are now today, which is the largest regional theme park company on planet Earth. And we at the park could not be more excited about the future of what this means for us and our park, but most importantly, really what it means for you guys. Are you guys excited about the merger? Are you excited about what is about to come? No doubt the value of what Six Flags is about to do is, is tremendous. It's off the rails. The people that we get to work with now as part of our extended family, these are folks that have run and operated theme parks for 40 years, great properties from coast to coast that truly are just truly beloved icons of the industry. Of course, what is the biggest Fright Fest ever going to entail? So without further ado, let's take a quick recap of all the excitement we've done together so far this season, our 2024 year. Let's take a look. Let's do this, get on the horn. Oh, Six Flags Fiesta down in San Antonio, let's hit it. We're out the door that morning, we go <laughs> to Six Flags. And I've been Mr. Dad with my jacket pockets, right? Because I know I'm gonna have to carry snacks and everyone's phones and all Sunglasses, that stuff. Sunglasses, water. So I'm loaded, I'm Dad at Six Flags. <laughs>
one of the first updates we do want to share is on one of our newest attractions, Kid Flash. How many of you have actually been able to ride Kid Flash so far? <laughs> it, is, it is a fun ride. But as you know, it has been down for quite some time, so please know that our teams are, are working on it. And whenever we do have updates, we'll continue to keep this group posted. But I do apologize that the ride has been closed for some time, but we look forward to sharing those updates as soon as possible. But other improvements that we've done include, who's been on Water Woman Gold Lasso Coaster since her opening? She is still crazy. So let's get an update on all the things we've done for Water Woman. Let's take it to Jasmine. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, everybody at FT92. My name is Jasmine. I'm one of the ride supervisors here at the Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster, and we are so excited to introduce some of our new additions to this attraction. As you can see on our new chain, we have an entirely brand new design. There are no seatbelts, but a brand new safety harness system, which makes it easier to access our rides. There is a brand new paint job for both the trains and the ride. The bridge can handle much colder temperatures, which means we can run it longer in the season. One thing that our maintenance team absolutely loves is on this new generation train, they have easier access to the wheels here in the station. So there you have it folks, some great additions to this wonderful ride. Smoother ride and a totally different rider experience. So come by, check us out here at the Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster. Back to you, Jeffrey. Well, thank you, Jasmine. No doubt it has been a great to have Wonder Woman back open. Anyone that's written knows it's just as crazy as ever before. Smoother, faster, more fun. The seats are more accommodating, more comfortable. And for our maintenance team, it is easier for them to access and maintain to keep those trains up and operational all year. So another great investment. But of course, we also had another big expansion this year in our water park where we added signature new family slides that have already been a great hit as we continue to elevate the overall water park quality and experience. So let's check in with Brooke, who uh, I think is going and giving us an update on our new kids area water slides. Hi Jeffrey, I'm Brooke, I'm the kid correspondent here at Hurricane Harbor San Antonio. I'm here in the brand new Coral Cove kids area, located right next to the Texas Street House. This place has so much to offer. Let's check it out. Let's talk about the six new family water slides, starting with Wipeout and Cowabunga. These slides are perfect for a sunny day. Here at Rip Curl Racer, you can race your friends and make a big splash. We'll have a blast zooming down. Bonsai Pipeline is awesome, and because they are tube slides, you'll never know who's in the lead. Vortex is epic. It's a mini version of our tornado. The twists and turns make it super exciting. Feel the rush of cool water, it's such an adventure. Stinger is like riding a wave. It really makes you feel like you're gliding through water. It's fast and fun. Perfect for little thrill seekers. The water slides are just one part of what Coral Cove has to offer. We also have premium cabanas looking over the water slides. So parents can relax in style. Well, that's a wrap on the new Coral Cove. So join us here at Hurricane Harbor San Antonio. Back to you, Jeffrey. Monorail, what'd you say? No doubt, we have been working hard on DC Universe as we continue our true transformation of the park to be a more exciting, dynamic destination for all of our fans. Here's a time lapse of all that is going on. Our cyborg revolution just arrived a few weeks ago in installation. You can see she's already up and running, which is fantastic. Absolutely just a crazy addition. Uh, to the park. We look forward to installing other attractions. Anyone that's been following us on social media knows that our, ride, our rides and new attractions arrived at the end of July, so installation has begun in earnest. Supergirl Skyflight is almost complete with its theming package. We do have a Supergirl that will go on the portal as well. Uh, we actually made the sign larger than originally anticipated, so there were some modifications that need to be made. But no doubt, she is flying high and looks really spectacular. Don't you think she turned out great? She looks beautiful as part of the new DC Universe expansion. Hopefully everyone has still ridden. It is a scary ride. Those chains just always freak me out. But it's great. We love it. We've also added a new adult beverage center in the middle of the action, which is nice. So on these hot days, you can get your favorite adult beverage, just chill. And as you know, as we prepare for Superman's 25th anniversary next year, hint, hint, not so subtle hint, we have begun a renovation of the retail location by closing it and converting it into an entrance and exit experience, which is the Daily Planet. So now you'll actually walk through a much more immersive entrance to the ride, and you'll also exit through the Daily Planet as part of the Superman experience, again, as we get ready for the 25th anniversary next year, hint, hint. Daily Planet, it's gonna be so much more spectacular, and again, nice and 
air conditioned, which is great, uh, to have a more meaningful, exciting entrance into uh, the Superman Krypton coaster. Other aspects of DC Universe that are coming up. Oh, and I should mention that we anticipate that the new Daily Planet will open around Labor Day-ish, sometime in early uh, September. So we do look forward to having that back into circulation. But we're going to show you an exclusive sneak peek. We have not shared this with anyone today, and that's what FT92 is all about. Sharing with you guys things we have not released yet. So our computer animators have been working feverishly hard to create what is the new DC Universe area going to look like once complete. Let's get our first glimpse ever at what this new exciting area will look like once finished. Welcome to DC Universe. Are you guys ready? It is absolutely going to be exciting as construction continues. So this upcoming week, we actually begin construction of the monorail attraction. One of the things we rarely share is how we select rides and attractions. So our team actually put together a insider video of some of the things that we do when selecting new rides. Let's take a look at some behind the scenes footage of how we make ride selections. Siebert, hey, President, we are you. excited to welcome a special guest to present a new potential ride concept for our park and our community. It's with great pleasure that I welcome Mr. Lyle Landley. The name's Landley, Lyle Landley, and I come before you good people tonight with an idea. Probably the greatest, uh, it's not for you. It's more of a Pittsburgh idea. No, wait a minute. We're twice as smart as the people of Pittsburgh. You tell us your idea, and we'll vote for it. All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll show you my idea. I give you the San Antonio monorail. <gasps> I've sold monorails to Anaheim, Seattle, and Orlando, and by gum it, put them on the map. Well, sir, there's nothing on earth like a genuine, bona fide, electrified four-car monorail. What I say? Monorail. What's it called? Monorail. monorail. shaded coaches that seat four guests, 16 guests per train, around a five minute journey of DC Universe. No doubt it's gonna be quite spectacular. We look forward to bringing that to life again soon. When it comes to the opening of the DC Universe area, although as you can see, it is clearly under construction, and we do, do still have a little way to go, the team is working hard, and as construction begins completion, we'll continue to share opening and event information with you guys, so you can be the first to ride our new experiences as part of the really exciting DC Universe. But we know there's still even more excitement yet to come this year. The most beloved time of the year, the magic and warmth of Holiday in the Park. Oh. Who loves Holiday in the Park? And as you know, we continue to pull out all the stops with all of your favorites returning this year. Lots of magic, the singing saps, every area of the park decorated, signature entertainment and shows, of course, Santa, the big jolly old elf himself, the return of Majesty of Christmas, that continues to be a signature event, 
And then, of course, as you know, last year we added a new original a musical extravaganza that we were so excited. Charles Dickinson Christmas Club! A new musical extravaganza, which also returns this year for another encore performance. So we have become, hopefully, one-stop shopping for the holidays. Great lights, great food, great shows and entertainment, and just lots of magic to enjoy for the festive nature of the holiday seasons. Who's ready for the holidays? Absolutely. Let's take a look at all of our, oh, season passes. Very exciting. Are you guys ready to see season passes? What they look like now? Well, here they go. The first, we will be launching two new season pass products August 14th-ish, so hopefully right around August 14th, so just a few days away. The first one is gonna be the new Gold Pass, which includes all the benefits that you see, 10% off, uh, monthly pass holder rewards, access to all days, no blockout dates, includes parking, and includes everything at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. The next level of pass is also the brand new pres pres Prestige Pass, Pertage. or Pertage, as it says there so. I apologize on that. It is the, I can assure you, it is the Prestige Pass. And the Prestige Pass is also good. It offers all access to our complex, full access to Fright Fest. It also includes preferred parking. And this one that really does offer the VIP experiences. So for those of you that like coming in and having the elevated parking experience, the VIP access through the front gate, our VIP access into the water park, VIP seating, both for shows, for fireworks, also the dining aspect of it, and of course the VIP seating in the water park. And as you can see, this product does offer one skip the line per visit. So you can actually skip the, one of your favorite attractions every single time that you come with it. To look at the pricing of these products when they launch on sale, here is the sale price. So you'll be able to get your gold pass for $65 or your prestige pass for $119. The other thing we are doing is these will also be membership products. Who enjoys membership? So you will also be able to buy these products with the monthly payment and become part of the membership program yet again. But I do want to point out that if you are currently a legacy pass hold member, do not worry, your legacy passes will continue to work forward. So if you're legacy gold, legacy diamond, legacy VIP, and the addition is, you'll actually be able to add on the all new Six Flags All Park Passport, which gets you access to all of the new combined company, if you are a legacy pass holder, for a flat $99, which includes parking and admission to the entire system of new combined parks. Who's gonna be getting the All Park Passport? It is great. And that will be available for all 25 products as well as an add-on. So when you buy your gold, you can upgrade the gold with the All Park Passport. If you're buying the Prestige Pass, you can upgrade it. Or if you're a Legacy Pass Hold member, you can also upgrade that to include the entire portfolio, coast to coast, north to south, east to west, of all the great parks that we now have. And again, August 14th. So hopefully you guys were excited about that. Some of the other improvements that we are making is this. Who's excited about us hiring an executive chef? For the first time in decades, we're actually being able to elevate our food and culinary program and have an executive chef on property, along with lots of other enhancements that you'll be seeing. Our Sanger Fest Hall project is jump-started again. We'll be making additional modifications and improvements to Pete's Eats. Also, some of the additional exciting things that we've done post-merger is one, our $1.30 surcharge is gone. Who's noticed that? Woo! The other change that we have coming is beginning next weekend as we review our pricing. Our parking fee is actually going to be lowered beginning next weekend as well. Make sure that we continue to be a great value. So as you can see, lots of great positive changes on the horizon and currently in the works. Brand new season passes for 2025. All park passport access. Executive chef coming. Rollback of surcharges. And parking also is being reduced. We're going to begin the year yet again with Mardi Gras followed by Spring Break, Viva La Fiesta, our 4th of July celebration, our Summer Nights Spectacular Roller Coaster Rodeo Return, our Great Boo Fest, Oktoberfest, and of course, our big finale, Frank Fest, will come back in 2025 along with Holiday in the Park, 
and the big kickoff Woo! New Year's Eve 360 fireworks celebration. So lots to look forward to in 25 as well. I believe it's the fifth anniversary of Roller Coaster Rodeo. Our signature fan event is coming back June 6th, 7th, and 8th at each other. Who's been to Roller Coaster Rodeo? If you have not been, you guys absolutely need to come. It is just an amazing event designed by enthusiasts, for enthusiasts, about enthusiasts, includes all those cool things that we all love to do. And it's hard to believe it's already the fifth anniversary of that event uh, coming in. Up next for us, Oktoberfest. So get out your leader hosen, and I know you guys have it. Oktoberfest returns beginning the weekend after Labor Day, all the way through October. The Der Worst Band returns to give you that great German polka and style music that we love and enjoy to add the atmosphere during the day. Lots of fun ensues, no doubt. Lots of area decor, including lots of new decorations being added this year to make our Oktoberfest area even look more spectacular. Of course, of course, the beer tapping ceremony, which is, you know, you get too close, you may get a little wet as we celebrate the fun and festival nature of all that we have to offer. But the real aspect of Oktoberfest is the food festival portion. Lots of new and returning food make it fantastic. It's also part of the all season or daily dining pass program. So for folks that love to eat, it's a great way to eat your way through the Oktoberfest. And of course, lots of great adult beverages scattered through the German Spasberg area and also around the park. So get ready to cheer and celebrate Oktoberfest. Prosit! Let's get ready to celebrate a great fall. Also coming back bigger and better for our little guests. Lots of features returning. Hopefully you've enjoyed the Boo Fest activities over the years, including one of our more signature aspects, the House of Curiosities, where not so spooky encounters occur. Our witches greet you and take you on a tour of their spooky house, but not to be confused with Spooky Town, our fun area that kicks off our Looney Tunes trick or treat area. Guests who can meet our Looney Tunes characters, photo opportunity, get your trick or treat bag out as then you work your way up and down through the streets of Rockville and enjoy trick or treating. New and improved this year with lots of other fun, festive Rockville street decor to do trick or treating and interactions along that street. Here's just some of the glimpse of some of the new stands that will line Rockville, paying tribute to the kind of 1950s style of that area and also offering more trick or treating fun for this year's kids boo fest. But of course, we got to start talking about live entertainment and shows. So new show coming to Los Festivales, Dios Muertos, as part Day of the Dead celebration. Our mariachis will come back in a more spectacular production. This gives you a little bit of the set design and how we look as we celebrate the Day of the Dead and our loved ones. But this new show will really pay tribute and homage to all that Day of the Dead has to offer. Another new show coming to the Pete's Eat stage is the Heebie Jeebies. Are you guys ready for more entertainment? Another live uh, performance band, live musicians on the stage. Lots of great music that we'll be playing during the day to entertain our not so spooky guests, but continue the Halloween fun. And again, that also begins right after Labor Day weekend, all the way through the end, which is a reminder, our Halloween activities do go all the way through November 3rd. So lots of excitement for Kids Boo Fest. Yes, our most beloved, scariest time of the year, no doubt, is Fright Fest, which is the reason why we are here. Ultimate age of excitement as the suspension continues to build. Let's begin by taking a look at entertainment. Entertainment, entertainment, and entertainment. Anyone here like entertainment? Yeah! Returning this year, Monster Mash Bash, The Blood Letting, and Lone Star Lils, our evening signature extravaganza. The Arrival returns this year. Monsters ride the rails to create the largest scare zone nightly at seven. And of course, our signature way to kick off the night, Frightful Finale returns in its fireworks spectacular. New for 2024. Dun, dun, dun. The all new Whoa. Rock Apocalypse Whoa. Anthems, also in Lone Star Lills, several times a day in the evening hours. Lone Star Lills will be another rock concert with Rock Apocalypse Anthems. Uh, no doubt, we hope you guys enjoy it. It's absolutely going to be fantastic and a great addition to the park this year. An all new lineup of music and choreography and just a true rock concert. Also coming this year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, everyone, I'm ready. All right, are we 
Wait, 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 who, get the show started! Is, who is this? Why can I never do this without being interrupted? Wait, uh, uh, seems like every year I'm no, just interrupted. No, 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 can you who just... Who are you? Here? Are you kidding me? I've been hosting FT92 for years! No. Who is this guy? No, no, no! no. Yes. Have I not been here for years? They okay. know who I am! I am the host of this oh. Fright Fest special! I am Dr. Movie Steve! <laughs> We spare no expense of coming up with names. That's right. At least it's not Dr. Diabolical. She's not here? No Dr. Diabolical? No, she, she's just scary. <laughs> oh, she's scary. Listen. Yo, What's your name? Jeffrey. Hello, Jeffrey. Yes. Hello. <laughs> hello, Movie Stein. Yes, Movie Stein. And Terror what? Terror, terror Vision. Vision. Listen. We gotta give the people what they want. Right? No, no, no. <laughs> We're gonna show you. Do you really want to hear what this guy has to say? Yes, yeah. I do. Really? Yeah, yeah, just listen. one year can I Jeffrey, I it? got my television working. I'm gonna roll it out here. Yeah. This thing? This is my television. It's a bit old and dated, but I found a VHS in the back to make it work. A VHS? Right. I'm putting in the oh VHS now. Let's what go ahead and try it. A VHS? What could go wrong? There we go. All right. Oh, this looks promising. It's not here. It's not there. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's loading up. It's warming up, Jeffrey. Oh, Just gotta God. find the signal. Yeah, yes, here we go. We're gonna take you to a new show that's playing Six Flags. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, from like decades ago. Oh, what is happening? Poltergeist. <laughs> no, Poltergeist, <laughs> yes. Hold on, that was 1990. It's coming in now. It's coming in now. Oh, good. Oh, perfect. All right, it's loading. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, please, no. No. This is, this is going nowhere good fast. Jeffrey. Move aside. Oh, no. This is gonna be big. I'm going to take you to some brand new show. Are you ready? Yeah! I'm going to pull the lever in no. three, no. two, one! Oh, for God's sake! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present to you now, here at the St. Rosa Theater, a brand new production on epic proportions. We give you Haunted Hollywood! Oh, we love it! Oh, no, no, no! Don't encourage this guy! Yes! It worked! It's alive! <laughs> a funk of 40,000 years, a grizzly goose from every tomb, are closing in to seal your doom. <laughs> than ever before. We're adding more to it this year as an extreme scare zone. Steam Pumpkins returns in Crack Axle. Also more elaborate and bigger than ever before. Wicked Hollow, where Nosferatu runs amok in Spasburg. And of course, Hell Valley Cemetery, our other extreme scare zone, becomes bigger, more exciting, more horrific than ever before. The nightmares continue. But, let's talk about what's new. Coming to our Los Festivals area, we're paying tribute to the cultures and history of San Antonio by converting our Mexican streetscape and our Hispanic heritage into De Los Bratos, Day of the Dead. Take a look at some of the concepts and artwork that will line our new Los Festivals area for Fright Fest this year. Our team has been working around the clock with our artists in hand, creating sugar skulls, carts, decor everywhere as we pay tribute to the histories and cultures of our region. It's gonna be colorful and lively by day and glowing and festive at night. You can see some of our big skeletons that have already been in production to line the streets. 
But the real signature is right in the heart of Texas State Square. Our Fiesta Texas icon will be replaced by this beautiful new elaborate skeleton, which will have our logos for photo opportunities. And at night, the entire area will glow with festive colors along the Los Festivales streets and buildings. Who's excited about our new area? That we're going to? It should absolutely be spectacular. But of course, we also will be introducing in the streets of Rockville, the Festival of Fright. Take a look at what this new area will contain in the streets of Rockville. So all the decor we currently have with the spaceship and other aspects are being positioned around Scream as kind of our 1950s sci-fi area. But the streets themselves will take on this fun, festive, but yet kind of creepy look. So fun by day, fright by night, paying tribute to the time period of kind of the 50s and 60s. New areas of trick-or-treating by day, but I can assure you the festival of fright takes a sinister turn for the worse at night, when the streets become much more ominous and filled with characters of terror that haunt the street party that is going on. So get ready for the festival of fright! You guys excited about that as well? It's gonna be a lot of fun. This is what we've been waiting for. Returning is trapped. The asylum and hospital that has run amok in Spasburg. Trap returns for the 2024 year. It's hard to believe it's the third year for Trapped. Slaughterhouse 6 Extreme, the butchering, returns in Crack Axle Canyon, where again, meat packing has run amok. I would not recommend you eat anything from there. The House of Unan, Curse of the Rougarou, also in our Spasburg area of the park. The werewolves continue to take over the haunted house by night. Twisted Theater of Torment, where the clowns have rung amok, and of course their puppetry, you find out, is actually made of you. And that will return for its second year. Lots of excitement in store for 24 when it comes to Fright Fest. Your favorite haunts returning, new scare zones, new entertainment, new excitement around every twist and turn. Give you a sneak peek at what some of those haunts looked like last year as we get ready for more excitement in store this season. Do you guys think we have some more in store for you? Yeah. What happened to you? <laughs> I could ask you the same thing. Is that thing alive? <laughs> it was, yes. You know, again, just one time can we do this without interruptions? No, no, the on off switch no, is back no, on. No, I brought out It is never the good switch. Switch. No, for gosh sakes. No, I... I switch. Yeah, listen, Jeffrey, no. I can't look at you without breaking. <laughs> Listen, Jeff, oh, yes, sir. you've been talking about the old news. Oh, um, true, I know that. Want to know what's coming next? Do you? Is that true? You want to know what's coming for Fright Fest next? We gotta give the people what they want! Yeah. Yes, we do. Now, Jeffrey, oh, on the side. Oh, for God's sakes. This is gonna be big, Jeffrey. I'm gonna pull the switch. Please don't. I'm going to show you the exciting new haunt here at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. You guys want to see it? I am! Yeah. You want to see it? I'm pulling the switch in three, two, one! Oh, no. Oh, we're in Los Fest. Oh, uh, the boomerang. Pete's Eats doesn't look very scary. We're headed to the boardwalk. That's that's not very scary. Oh, there's the windmill in Crack Axle Canyon. That doesn't look overly scary. What? What? Whoa, what? Oh, it's Annabelle! The Conjuring Universe! It's coming! Oh my gosh, you guys excited about the Conjuring Universe? Yeah. Located in Crack Axle Canyon, prepare to strap in for a tour of the Warren's most hair-raising and gruesome cases, including those that inspired the Conjuring, Annabelle, and the Nun, and each investigation encounters with cursed artifacts make you the target of possession. Woo. Are you ready to take on the Conjuring Universe? 
Yes, it is going to Crack Axle Canyon because it is a very large 5,000 square foot experience. Here is an exclusive sneak peek of some of the works that are currently going on and the creatures that you'll meet inside of the experience. You'll actually enter through the side left of where Buried Alive used to be into the Occult Museum where your journey will begin in the dark alley as you see all the different cases that the Warrens have explored over the years as you navigate more than 5,000 square feet of pure, spooktacular, and horrific fun. No doubt the Conjuring Universe is the most popular horror franchise of all time and it's extremely exciting to bring this alive to life, I should say, at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, working with our friends at Warner Brothers, or I should say Discovery Warner Brothers in DC, to create a completely immersive, more exciting haunted experience than ever before. What do you guys think about experiencing the Conjuring Universe? Yeah! What? There's one more! That's right, Jeffrey. Like I said, we gotta give the people what they want. I think I've heard that today. Yes. Yes, Jeffrey. Oh, not the switch I'm again. Going back, baby. Another big reveal! Oh, here we go! You guys ready for this? Flip <laughs> that switch! Well, I'm pulling the switch. And three! Come down with me. Two! One! What is going on now? <laughs> oh no! What is happening? Are you ready to Are you ready, San Antonio, to take on the Upside Down? That's right, Rockville High School is flipping upside down and becoming Hawkins High. Whereas you can see the students of Hawkins High School District decided to team up to create a little innocent Halloween fun for their community. But as you know, in true theme park fashion, things go quickly, flip upside down, and morph into something far darker, more sinister, in Fright Fest 2024. Give another big round of applause for The Conjuring! For Stranger Things! Yeah! Are you guys ready? Yeah! Take a peek at some of the concepts. No doubt you're going to enter the high school and quickly see it transformed into a nightmare. Our partners at Netflix have created something extremely special that no doubt you'll enjoy. A completely immersive, multi-dimensional, multimedia-filled experience animatronics, special effects, projections, you name it. We are pulling on all the stops to create highly immersive, destination-style haunted attractions, along with our classic IPs and our classic attractions that we've offered throughout the years. Yeah. Yeah.